Uh, I'm back and welcome to video 81 in my ACS vanilla series and in this video I'm pretty much going to continue to train my Shendal. So in the last video I recruited six males because I want to train six Shendal at once and it's a pretty crazy thing and in the last video I was looking for Shendal disciples that also had the two traits warrior and good tempered because they reduce the effect of the way that the disciples mood changes and it actually reduces the mood effect so for example if they get a negative moodlet or a positive moodlet that increases their mood by 100 or decreases their mood by 100 then it would reduce that so that it would change the mood by 40 instead of 100 because I believe warrior is actually I don't know I forgot exactly what the buff was but I believe it's a 30% and a 20% which gives the total mood reduction of 50% so far and then if I consume a purity leave then I would get another 25% on that but I'm not sure about if I would actually want to use purity leaves because that just sounds like a lot to just continuously using those and I wish I had a way to automate those but I don't but besides that I haven't been uploading daily because in between of doing all this I've been refreshing myself on how to cultivate a Shindao and pretty much doing practice on a background <coughs> while also taking notes and while taking notes and doing some practice I also realized that Shindao cultivators they actually need to have um, an average amount of intelligence and an average amount of charisma because for one of, for the earlier breakthroughs the higher their intelligence is the longer the breakthrough will take and then for after divine realm there's a breakthrough where the higher your intelligence is the shorter it will be so you want your intelligence to be kind of starting off low but enough to increase it so right now I have the math and my Excel sheet as I typically have so for example if my disciple was to start off with two intelligence right then this breakthrough would be 3.4 days and then if I changed it and if my intelligence was still 2 and I had to increase it to do this breakthrough so right now this breakthrough right here also is dividing by int so it's using this number because I would have to consume pills and stuff to increase the intelligence and before I had 5 in there so I just took a guess that if my intelligence was about 5 then I could bring it up to 9 but for example, if I didn't do that and my intelligence stayed at two, then this breakthrough would be 100 days. If it, if my intelligence was three, then it would be 44 days. And at five, it would take 16 days. So what I'm thinking is I would feel more comfortable by having my intelligence at five or around five so that this breakthrough is like five to eight days. And then once I increase my intelligence by consuming pills, hopefully it will be continued to nine and then that will allow me to reduce this one to around five days to kind of equal it out and then besides that it's kind of similar well it's not similar with the charisma so the, for the charisma you want the charisma to be low for the breakthrough because the breakthrough is subtract is doing 50 the amount of days is 50 divided by 15 minus your charisma so if I increase my charisma to like 7 then the breakthrough increases slightly so it can go up to 10 days and then if I have 5 charisma then it's up to 5 days so the lower charisma the better the breakthrough so if I had like 2 charisma then a breakthrough would be 3 days so as you can see this breakthrough right here isn't that big of an effect so it's not too much to worry about however when you're a Shendao disciple and you need to recruit four core followers you have to persuade disciples and charisma as a 8% chance to persuade these disciples per point so you just want to have high charisma for that in general and I can show you a calculator that I have over here so right here your chances to persuade a disciple to become your core follower which is something that you'll see later on in this run is determined by your charisma and your social so for example and then also when you try when you are trying to persuade someone you can ask you have to ask them about something and the difficulty changes based on what you ask them about so if you ask them about like their likes or dislikes then the difficulty is only 200 if you ask them about their personality then it's 240 
Secret knowledge is 280, and then you ask them about their weakness, then 320. And obviously, these have different persuasion chances. And then it's also dependent on the cultivation stage of the person that you're trying to turn into a core follower. So, as you can see, if I have one charisma right here, then my persuasion chance tanks to 60%. Whereas if I change my social to one, then I'm at 21%. That's assuming that the cultivator is a cheese shaver. But if I'm recruiting a core shaver, then it's 1%. But if my charisma is, for example, 10, and then my social is 14, then I have really high percentage to even per, um, persuade a golden core or primordial spirit. I mean, you could save scum these things, but it would be annoying. So I think that I would like to have... 10 charisma and not 10 charisma but like high charisma and then above 14 social and uh, just because I don't want to focus too much on social I think that if I just have 14 social then I'll pretty much be good so that's pretty much what I'm working on so later on you will definitely want higher charisma but earlier you will want low, lower charisma so my goal is to have around average intelligence average charisma and then have all of these guys consume a tier 12 eternity pill so that I can increase their stats and then give them a heavenly talisman and then hopefully they will be increased to a reasonable amount the charisma I'm not really worried about but I definitely don't want to have intelligence so low that the breakthrough is taking too long so I'm going to actually move forward and remote all of these disciples so right now I have these cis mortals this guy has one charisma naturally, so this is the one that would be the most difficult to persuade different mortals to become my core follower. So I might have to just only seek out like mortal cultivators and then just convert them to cheat shapers just to make it easier for this guy. And then this guy has three, so it will be pretty easy. This guy also has one charisma. so. It seems like I definitely will be struggling a little bit, but I'm also too lazy to do this over again. So, let me see. Let's just see if my laziness is going to help out. Because if I just do a recruitment like right now, and I get some guys that have better stats, then I'll even take a female if I can, if they have the stats that I'm looking for. So, let's see. I want to look for guys that have good tempered and warrior with some pretty okay charisma and intelligence and then besides that luck is also used for one of the later breakthroughs but you really just want to zoom past that so I'm gonna worry less about that but ideally like a perfect shin now would have like really good luck and then very average charisma and intelligence so this one has warrior, masculine, favored by destiny, good tempered. And honestly, I haven't tried raising a Shindao with just one of these traits, like just either good tempered or warrior. And maybe it's acceptable because when I did do Shindao, that was probably a really long time ago. Probably like at least six months ago was when I practiced Shindao and I didn't really worry too much about the stats. So I don't think that the disciple that I had even had those traits anyway. So this is just me trying to go on like super easy mode. So maybe if you want to try it, then doing it with just one of the stats will work. Or one of the traits will work just to save you some brain power. But you know, I'm just trying hard at this point. Oh, this is a warrior that's good tempered. Three luck, four intelligence, and four charisma. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is something that I would be looking for. I would wish that they would have higher luck, but I think I will take this one right here. And then let's see. Warrior sensitive. Nope, nobody here. Let's go to Snake Tail Village. See, this one just has Warrior, but they have everything that I would need, honestly. I'll just keep moving forward, though. So, 
So let's just see how many guys I want to replace. I would want to replace the guys with one and charisma because that could create a big dilemma. So I have this guy that I would want to replace. And then Tantai. Yeah, so I just have two guys that I want to replace. So I'll just rename them to replace one and then replace two. So I already got one replacement coming into my site, so I'll just wait until day three, 440 to do recruitment again. And then besides that, I have this guy that has demon blood, and I want them to get that secret for the demon blood secret. So let me just promote this guy so that I can get that out the way as well. But besides that, I probably should just recheck the wiki because I definitely do not remember what that was. I know it was that poison granulate. So let's see. It was this right here. And I believe I needed to go to the world wiki to figure out what I needed to do with it. Let's try demon blood. Nope. Let's go to the world wiki because that seems to have more information on what I need. So poison dragon lake. And then once per ten once per game with demon blood background. Okay, so it doesn't seem like you need anything, but if you have the demon blood background, then the cultivator gets a T12 artifact and they get a constitution and a chi buff. And so yeah, I'll just promote this guy to anything. I don't really care. I just want to get that secret out of the way. And unlock that. Apparently they work with my red artifact law. Then let's give them a spiritual traveling talisman. And the uh, departing shadow talisman. So now they have those two talismans. They can finally go and get that treasure secret, which is right over here. Point seven nine days. <coughs> So now I'm just going to continue to let my game run. And then while that's going, I should probably rename all of these Shendals too. <coughs> just because I don't want to think too much about it. So <coughs> I'm going to be scummy and, you know, rename them to very obscure names. Shen 1, Shen 2, Shen 3, Shen 4. Let's copy this to make it faster. Shen 4. And then this is Shen 5. That's interesting. So I must have had seven guys because I have one, two, three, four, five, but I have two guys that I need to remove. Yeah. So I actually only needed that one recruit, so hmm. I guess I can just wait until the next day to see if there's actually a male. Just because the males will make it easier for me. And I have the luxury to do that. Okay, we have visit from a merchant union. I really don't have time for this, but I'll entertain it. They want a prime pill. Mm, I don't have a prime pill, but I do have items that I can trade for your spirit stone. Ooh, 70 soul gems. We like those. Holy stones. I already have enough of all of that. Oh, treasure items are worthless. Oh, I might actually not be able to trade them. 
Let's see, I have two poems of sadness. Oh, okay. I have enough. I'll just take this Phoenix Wood off of them. 19,500. Uh, I'll just take one. Perfect. Now, I just want to make sure that I don't neglect anyone that was supposed to join my sect. Okay, definitely not this one. Let's soul chant you, just so that you don't confuse me. And I'm waiting for it to be around 8 o'clock because I believe the best time is between like 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Because I did actually go on the wiki and then see what the time was. So this is the secret right here for the Demon Blood Disciple. And then you just hit search. And I got a match cheat bonus and I got a tier 12 artifact. So nice. I was able to complete that and get the achievement. That was actually my first time doing that. So now, Demon Blood guy is coming back. So, let's do one more round of recruitment. Okay, I have to wait just a little bit more. Just waiting for time to pass. It's funny when the only invaders that I'm getting now are like animals because cultivators get very scared because I have high rep. I want to use a spell that will hopefully kill all of them. Is Demon Blood guy back? Yep, they're back. And now they're pretty much useless, so I'm just going to be very ruthless and kick them out of the sect. Just because I don't want to have extra disciples distracting me. I have so many illuminated objects. Thank you for your service. You are now in Cultivator. And good luck out there. That would be cool if they could like join other sects and get stronger eventually. Okay, 17. So it's 5 o'clock. So I actually missed the window. But I'm ready to recruit. Ah, that was only 14 people. Yeah, that was a bad decision. Warrior, good tempered. Maybe I might end up having to wait two days. Okay, we got 65 people. Dark Dweller. Some of these guys have no traits, that's insane. Harsh. Healthy, good tempered, warrior masculine, warrior and demon blood. Okay, I see you. Craftsman, warrior troubled, warrior good tempered, and is a female. So her luck is pretty low. It's only three, but the charisma is salvageable, and so is the intelligence. So I'll go with her as well. And it doesn't seem like I'll be finding a male. That meets my criteria, which is okay. Favored by destiny, good temper. A lot of these people are good tempered. That is probably what makes a really good cultivator. A good temper. Nineteen more people. Hard working warrior. Oh, is this a warrior? Good tempered male? Their charisma is two. Two is pretty low. But it's not the worst. I don't know. I don't think I can do much with two, but Oh, there we go. Four intelligence, four luck, and four charisma. This is the one that I want. And it's a male. That's perfect. Alright, so I'll wait till, until that male joins my sect, and then I guess I'll do my remotes too, in the meantime. So right now, I have five Shindows, and I only have one disciple that can do remotes, which is this guy. So 
I think I will learn removals on at least my turtles. Huh, why is this guy so hurt? Demon body. Oh, let's turn them into a human so that they don't kill themselves from being a demon. <laughs> so, I just want to increase charisma and. Uh, yeah, I think um, if the intelligence is low enough, then it's cool. Or, I mean, if the intelligence is in the middle ground. So, this guy, he has three intelligence. I would want to increase that for sure. So, I'm really just dealing with intelligence and charisma because you can't remote luck. So, I'll just learn the intelligence and charisma remotes. So I'm pretty sure this guy has all of the removes already. So let's just have this guy learn charismatic. And then the intelligence one. Oh, they have charismatic. Oh, and they have enlightened awakened. Nice. So generation two turtle does have remotes. So it looks like I do have at least two guys. Let's try with Susford Turtle. Charismatic and Enlightened Awakening. These are both miracles that can be used to increase outer stats. And then let's see. I don't even think Heaven's Still in Love Bear 2 has. Yeah, they don't have that much inspiration. So, Mile 1, Suspirit Turtle, and then Generation 2 Turtle will be able to remote. I mean, three guys is really good. And then, uh, is there anyone else that might have a lot of inspiration? Probably not. Let's try my 7 Slaughtering Sword Tiger. Well, this one costs about as much inspiration as they have already. So, I'll just keep him just in case because I don't really need to remove that much intelligence. And then, of course, I need this guy to do soul infection on all of my Shen dials. So that I can reduce their stats. And I'm just going to do a really lazy remote. I don't think I have any good suppression items. And I don't want to increase the stats by too much. I just want them to be like middle ground, honestly. So I don't even want to deal with my relics right now, honestly. So I think I'll just re move forward with doing remotes. I kind of want to wait until the two guys come, or the one guy that I'm waiting to recruit. So let me actually boot out these two guys. I'm going to turn off Mindful Dressers so that they don't pick up things. Then I'll boot them. Sorry guys, you didn't make it to immortality. Now we just wait. Strange little elf. Okay. I'll take that. Let's get a firecracker. Yeah, I love like when this event just happens like multiple times a season. It's so nice. There's so much good loot from this. Oh, come on, guys. 
Where are these mortals? Is this a corpse? Oh, it's just an unconscious bear. For some reason, it's not dead. Are you dead yet? No. There we go. Okay, so it says passerby they need to help. Who's this guy? Okay, so this is the lady. I'll just accept her for now, just in case. And this is the other one, I believe. No, this is something else. This is one of those random NPCs. Unless I invited them by mistake, I'll do a soul chant. Oh, my two has a demon body too. Let me make sure all these guys are actually humans. Because that demon body debuff can be really nasty. So right here, the demon body increases combat, but driven by the wild nature, the mental state, and all of that stuff will be affected. So you definitely want your guys to be sitting that human form if you can. Or a monster form, just not beast form. Oh, you got a talisman, butchering speed, okay. Nothing too crazy. So because I've did these agency events so many times, I already have an auto selection, so I don't even need to select them. I can just let the time run out and it will automatically do it for me. Another one? <laughs> Another wolf demon thing. Alright, since I'm waiting and I'm not really doing much, I think I should actually start to remote these guys. And uh, I guess I'll just go based off of if these numbers are average or not. It's kind of bad though because I don't remember what they started off with. So I may be making some of these guys have like way higher intelligence. But I guess that's okay. So I'll do Charismatic on Shindao 1. Then Shindao 2, you definitely need Charismatic. So I'll just do my Charismatics first. And then Shindao 3. I really should have wrote that down. But it's not that big of a deal. I'm just losing some time. But And this is just really just a practice run for me. Honestly. So it's okay. So generation 2 turtle. Let's do charismatic. Where is that disciple? Found it. And then I believe SS Turtle can do it if I didn't do it already. Okay, I already did. So I have Generation 2 Turtle using Charismatic, Sub Series Turtle, the first one using Charismatic, Mod 1 using Charismatic. So I have four Charismatics going. So only Shindal 5 is the one that's not being affected right now. But their Charisma is already pretty average, so I think I want to keep it like that. So for Shindal 5, I think I just want to, hmm, I don't even know if I want to remove their intelligence. Because their stats are pretty high already, so I think I will actually, let's try to remove this parasite off of this guy, just to re-see what their stats are. Yeah, I mean, they have the perfect stat, they have 7 and 5, that's exactly what I want. Alright, let's see if I can get intelligence on these guys. So Shindal 1, they already have pretty good intelligence. So if they are suppressed right now and they have 4 intelligence, then it should still be a pretty good value. So let me remove this. Yeah, their intelligence is 9. Oh wait, that's who we are, sorry. Okay, so their intelligence is 5, which is perfect. 
Shindao 2 is in around the same boat. So let's unsuppress them. Let's see where they're at. Okay, so everyone's getting that sweet spot. So now let's see where Shindao 3 is. Shindao 3 has horrible intelligence, so I definitely want to remove that. So let's have this guy use Enlighten. And then, you know, we're just going to wait for the other guys to come. So he's using Enlightened on uh, Shindao 3. Alright, Shindao 4, where are you at? Their intelligence is pretty even, and then their charisma is now at 6. So I think Shindao 4 is good to be good. <coughs> Yeah, Shindao 4 doesn't need any more work. Then Shindao 5 is also good. So I'm pretty much just waiting for the Sis guy to come join my site. And now Shindao 3 has average intelligence and average charisma, which is exactly what I wanted. So I believe everyone is good. And then I think the one person that I invited that, I waited, that I'm waiting for is already having good stats so is it this guy right here so they have four charisma and four intelligence which are pretty average their social is pretty low but i mean i guess that's okay so i'll just accept them and they will be my sis shindao so shindao sis so now i have all sis of my shindao disciples that i want so what i'm going to do is save my game and then I'm going to promote them and then pretty much get them ready. Well, first I need to build their homes too. So this is 442. Promote Sit Shindao. So besides that, I also recognize that I didn't create six rooms for my Shandals. So I need to make sure I do that. So I'm just going to just do this oil lamp to make it auspicious because auspicious is pretty regular. And then create a blueprint out of that. Shandal, um, vanilla, whatever. I tried to do like Shandal room, vanilla run, but it won't let me. There's actually a way that you can increase the character limit. I'll have to look into that and show you guys how to do that in this video. So one, two, three, four. I kind of want them all to be on the same screen. Five, six. So this will be the six rooms for all of my Shindal disciples. So hopefully they all will be built in time. And then besides that, And then besides that, I need to promote them. So let's just have them all eat a forming pill really quick. I'm thinking, is there anything else that I want to feed them before I make them uh, Shindal? Hmm. No, there's really nothing that I can really think of as a mortal that I would feed a Shindal disciple. And then besides that, I also want to turn off Mindful Dresser for these guys so that they're not equipping items that are too good because, again, you don't want your Shandals to have good, like, too good of a mood. You just want them to stay regular. So I'll just wait for all of these buildings to be built since some of these Shandals were building or helping out with that. 
now it's time to promote them so I'm going to be using the nether sutra so salvation law and promote all of these Shindal disciples and then I'll be cultivating them all at once which will be super fun Shindal 5 and Shindal 6 So now let's assign them to these rooms. A slightly auspicious room is pretty much perfect for a Shindal. But because these guys are all good tempered and warrior, I have to worry a lot less about that. Okay, so these guys are now all Shindal disciples. So let me actually kick out this Esther guy that I have, which was Yu Yai Lu. I want to see all of my Shendal over here. Stop eating, please. <laughs> Everyone get information. Okay. We're Shendal too. Okay. So yeah, this is Shendao, and right here, if you go to mood and social, you can see all of their mood lists, and this is their distress, which is based on the absolute value of their mood. So it doesn't matter if these are positive or negative, they all add up to be distress, and you want to have as little distress as possible when you're a Shendao, because distress basically makes you human, so you don't have that low. So that's why I went for guys with warrior and good temper. So as you can see right here, I have 80 distress. But if you look at all of these modifiers that I have, I have way, way more than 80 in total mood. So I think I'm good to end the video, but that's how you can see. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt my outro, but yeah, I'm good to end the video. But that's basically how you can see like how good having warrior and good tempered is because it makes these guys have a minimal effect on their distress despite all of their moodlets. So I think I'm going to end the video here, and then in the next video I'll show you guys pretty much how to manage this trust and how to cultivate Shindals up to a certain point. And yeah, that's pretty much how you recruit Shindals. That's pretty much the stats that I figured out that I would be looking for in order to get through these breakthroughs. And then in the next videos I'll be going over how to do all of these breakthroughs at once, and then you know show you guys me training sits at once, which will be a pretty big thing. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something or I hope you at least enjoy watching me play and I'll see you in the next video and hopefully I drop that sooner than later. Later.